everybody, it's Daniel. I'm here at Drumeo. I'd like to welcome you all here today for a lesson in the groove that I was just playing. And of course, most of you probably recognize that as the surf beat, right? The surf beat. And the reason it got its name, the surf beat, is because it was a kind of beat that was very popular in the early days of rock and roll when there was a lot of cool instrumental music happening like Dick Dale and uh, groups like the Beach Boys and the Surfaris, songs like Wipeout uh, and uh, Pipeline and all of these kind of early rock and roll tunes. And that beat just seemed to catch on and everybody just really grabbed onto it. Uh, the first time you really hear it is in a song by The Ventures called Walk, Don't Run. And it actually opens up. And of course, The Ventures were classic uh, early rock and roll instrumental band and, uh, uh, you know, and, a, and a lot of bands that were you know, surf bands sort of caught this feel. So um, you find that in, in early rock and roll. So, okay, the surf beat. So let's dig into this thing and let's, uh, let's learn the surf beat. So it's pretty basic, pretty basic beat. And that's why it was associated with early rock and roll because early rock and roll was like, anybody could just pick it up and let's do it. So we're playing basically eighth notes on, on the ride cymbal. Uh, one and three on the kick drum, and, and the, the key part, of course, of the surf beat is what's happening in the snare. So we've got one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And that kind of da 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 is sort of very iconic for the 1950s and, and the 60s as well. Uh, so if we put all that together, and of course you can play your hi-hat um, on your foot on two and four to go along with, with your backbeat. So if we just demonstrate that, it sounds a little like this. One, Now, I should point out that when you're playing your ride cymbal pattern, a lot of times, you know, in, when we play eighth notes on the ride cymbal, maybe we'll play like an accented and an unaccented note. So like da 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 That is not the case here. You want to make every note driving. da 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 in order to get this surf beat to feel, to feel right, okay? Uh, the other thing is, something that'll really help you is that we tend to get so focused on our snare drum, da 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 that we forget about the kick. So in your mind, add the kick to what you're doing. In other words, um, da da um, da um, da da um. So that da da um really connect the next beat, which would be in this case beat three, to the, the snare drum. All right. So why don't you guys give it a try now uh, in this demonstration version? All right, so there you have it, the basic surf beat. Pretty easy, pretty grooving, lots of fun to play. Uh, now, here's a slightly more difficult variation that I actually like to use. Uh, and this comes from the idea that early rock, a straight eighth feel, actually emerged initially from a shuffle. And if you've ever heard any of my clinics or read any of my books, I talk about that period where the shuffle went from shuffling to straight eighth. So let me just demonstrate that on the hi-hat. So here you have a shuffle. See how I took it from being a bouncy, shuffly feel to just flattening out that those eights and making it more straight. Uh, so um, a lot of shuffles were played with two hands, both hands shuffling, and some of the early rock and roll stuff then took the idea of two hands shuffling and flattening out both hands. So I'll demonstrate that. So you go from a shuffle. See how the shuffle flattens out and both hands go from shuffling to playing straight eights. So what we could do with our surf beat now is to have both hands playing that. And now it's challenging because on the on the your snare hand, which would be most people's left hand, my right hand, because I'm a lefty, uh, we're going. I'd also like to mention that when playing the surf beat, you don't uh, always just have to play your bass drum on one and three. You could play it on all four as well. So in this, this example then, I'm gonna play 
the eighth notes in both hands and play four on the floor on my bass drum. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three. All right, so why don't you now give it a try? So there you have it, the basic surf beat and then a slightly more complicated variation along with a good couple of different things that you could do with your bass drum. I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson and if you did, uh, remember that here on Drumeo they've got literally thousands of lessons of all different types, all different varieties uh, and make sure you go over to drumeo.com and check those out. Uh, and if you enjoy classic grooves, you enjoy myself as a teacher, as an instructor, I've got books, I've got DVDs, and my focus really is in the history and evolution of drumming and the drum set. Uh, so go over to danielglass.com, check that out. You can follow me on Facebook, all the usual places. So thanks so much, and we hope to see you again at another day here at Drumeo. <laughs>